in Hitachi. You're going to choose the Hitachi tab. Now you're going to go over to your drives and it should automatically select it. But if it doesn't, um, you're going to see this drive tab right here and you're going to click the down arrow and you're going to choose whichever one is your Xbox. This is my DVD player in my computer. So this is my Xbox right here. I'm going to choose that drive. Now, like I said at the beginning, um, this, the version 79, ROM version 79 FL has an extra step in it um, that you have to do. Um, it's called the 79 Unlock. Now, um, in order to get this, it's just like the slacks where it downloads um, an ISO, I've, or no, it's an audio file. Um, but in order to download that, you're going to see this blue link that says insert the 79 unlock audio CD and you're gonna click on it click on that link and this is only for version 79 Hitachi's all the other Hitachi's don't have it now since my computer's not hooked up to the internet it's not gonna go to it but um, if your computer's hooked up to the internet you're just gonna follow the steps to or it's gonna automatically download this 79 unlock audio file um, and once that does, you're going to burn it to a CD, which I've already done, and mine looks like this. I just burn it to a CD like this and called it Unlock 79. Um, and I'm just going to, once you have that um, downloaded and burned to a CD, you're going to insert it into your Xbox 360 drive. So just open your Xbox 360 drive and then um, close it. and you'll see that um, your computer will actually recognize it as an audio or whoops um, you're gonna have to do the three um, pushes of the eject button to keep it closed just make sure you do the three clicks because if you don't it's gonna open up by itself um, since it's in mode B that's what it does and what you're gonna see is the computer actually recognizes it as an audio file and as you can see my iTunes automatically opened because it is an audio file and once that does that you're just gonna click cancel and exit out of iTunes and then you're gonna hit this button 79 unlock and you're just gonna wait for that and it's gonna eject it by itself and then you'll see done it'll say executing code in RAM and then done you're just gonna take your 79 unlock CD out and then close your drive tray um, so it stays shut the three clicks or whatever and then um, once you've done that you're gonna go over here to flashing options and check the flash iExtreme one just with a little blue dot you're gonna click on flash iExtreme and then um, once all that is done you're gonna hit flash hacked F slash W which stands for firmware hack slash FW you hit that and you just this will pop up and you just save it to your desktop and since I already have it I'm just gonna click replace and it'll say finishing stability test reports report stable do you wish to continue yes and it'll just flash your drive and just wait for all this and it'll say flash complete that's how you know it's done that means your drive has been su successfully flashed and now we're gonna test it out and see if it worked um, once you're done with this, um, what you're going to do is come down to your Xbox and just turn it off. You'll see it's still flashing. I don't know if my webcam is fast enough to pick that up, but it is still flashing. And you're just going to turn it off. And now you're going to go back. It opens by itself. Just shut it. And now you're going to take out your, your SATA cable from the computer just detach that and you're gonna plug in your short black SATA cable that you unplugged um, as you can see you just leave it plugged in there to your motherboard and your power cable should always stay plugged in never unplug your power cable and now you're gonna plug in your black um, small short SATA cable from your motherboard of your um, the motherboard of your Xbox just right in the back it should just look the same as when you unplugged it just like that and now set it back down in your Xbox make sure it's set down in there 
the right way because if it's not your eject button won't be able to do it and now that that's done let's see if it works everything's plugged in we're just gonna plug in back into the projector and when you're um, flashing it make sure that you keep your video cable plugged in but on the other end unplug this just make sure it's loose like that and make sure again your Xbox won't turn on without its power cable plugged in but make sure you have that video cable plugged in also just detached from whatever TV you have or projector like I have whatever you have and just plug it into your TV and now let's turn on the projector and see if it plays the burnt Call of Duty turn on the projector and now we'll turn on the Xbox and let's see if it turns on the whoops, projector alright there's my Xbox turning on and now I'll open it up ah. make sure your drives in there right because if you don't put it in there right um, your little button won't reach the eject um, so let's find that Call of Duty I can find it where did I put it? oh there it is alright so as you can see the same Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 burnt game put it in the tray and let's see if it works this time There it goes. Let's see if it comes up with that Xbox 360 thing. Nope, it's working. As you can see, now the burn game works in your the same Xbox 360 that didn't work about 20 minutes ago. Now that it's all flashed, Modern Warfare 2, and if you want to learn how to burn the games, um, on my previous video, um, you can watch my video I have on how to burn. Um, um, since I am Mr. Out of Mac, I have a Mac, so I show you how to burn the games on a Mac. Um, but as you can, as you saw in this video, you actually needed a PC to flash the Xbox. Any type of Xbox you have, you need a PC to flash it because um, that's just the way it is. They make all the programs for a PC, and in order to plug in your Xbox to your motherboard of your PC, you need a PC. You can't have a Mac. So today I was Mr. How to PC, um, but if you want to learn how to uh, burn those games again, just check out um, my previous videos on Mr. How to Mac. Um, this was Mr. How to Mac. If you liked my video, um, be sure to subscribe. Um, you can comment and rate the video. Um, if you have any questions, just comment on this video or comment on my channel or send me a direct message, and I will get back to you because. Um, I know it can be quite frustrating when I started learning how to do all this stuff. It was very frustrating. But this was flashing a Hitachi drive, a Hitachi 79 drive to be exact. But you can use this video for any Hitachi drive. Just omit that unlock 79 CD step where you put the CD in your Xbox. You just omit that step and just continue on without that step if you have a different type of Hitachi drive.